Epic produces over 15 million lighters daily across all their factories. That's about 10,000 lighters per minute. They are, by far, one of the largest manufacturers of lighters in the world. The Bic lighter was invented by Marcel Bic in 1973, a French businessman who wanted to create a lighter that was not only practical but also ergonomic and affordable. He envisioned a lighter that would be easy to use, reliable, and comfortable to hold. This is perfect for hard to reach places. And it helps keep your fingers away from the flame. And he nailed it. That smooth, rounded design you're familiar with? That's all thanks to Bic's original vision for a perfect balance between form and function. Hey there, Industria fans! Welcome back to the channel! Today we're talking about something iconic, the Bic Lighter. It's so simple yet so perfect. It fits comfortably in your hand, almost like it was designed specifically to be there. And you know what? It was! Whether you're lighting a candle, starting a fire for a barbecue, or safely lighting one up, like Snoop Dogg, Bro, what, chat? That's your introduction. The Bic lighter is a true staple of our daily lives. But how much do you really know about this small, flame-starting powerhouse? How is it made? Where does it come from? And why is that red button on the side so, well, red? Stick around, because we're going to uncover all of this and more as we take you inside the world of Bic. Let's get lit, literally. So let's start off with the basics. Where do all these Bic lighters come from? Well, the Bic factory in the U.S. is located in Milford, Connecticut, and it's one of the key facilities where the magic happens. They open their doors at 6 a.m., and the assembly lines crank up promptly, running all the way until 3.30 p.m. In fact, around 1,200 people are working inside this factory, turning out millions of lighters each year. These employees work in shifts, ensuring that every part of the process is as smooth as possible. And it's no easy task. The entire production line is a well-oiled machine with automated robots and human hands working side by side to produce lighters that meet Bic's high standards. Now, let's talk about the materials that make up a Bic lighter. You may not realize it, but each lighter is made up of a variety of raw materials – plastics, metals, and gases. For the body, they primarily use polypropylene, a plastic that's strong, heat-resistant, and durable. It's a key reason why your lighter feels solid and doesn't crack when dropped. But how do they get it? Well, Bic doesn't make this plastic themselves. They source it from major plastic manufacturers who ship the raw materials to the factory. Same goes for the metal components, like the spark wheel, flint, and spring. These materials arrive in large quantities and are carefully sorted and stored, ready to be molded into the final product. Okay, time to dive into the fun part, the actual manufacturing process. The first step is the molding of the plastic casing. The polypropylene is melted down and injected into molds that form the lighter's body. These molds are designed with precision, ensuring that each lighter fits together perfectly. The molding temperature is around 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty hot, but it's necessary to ensure the plastic flows evenly into every corner. After the plastic cools and hardens, the body of the lighter is taken to the printing station, where Bic adds their famous logo. Bic lighters are known for their wide variety of colors, and they offer over 30 different colors for their disposable lighters. The exact number can vary depending on the market and limited edition releases. Here's a fun fact. The logo is heat printed directly onto the plastic, and this process is carefully timed. The ink must cure at a temperature of around 230 degrees Fahrenheit to ensure that the print doesn't smudge or fade over time. Now that the plastic casing is ready, it's time to assemble all the metal components. This includes the spark wheel, flint, spring, and of course, the valve system that regulates the gas. The spark wheel is typically made from steel and is designed to create that reliable spark when you push down the button. The flint, which sits in a small chamber inside the lighter, is made of ceramic and is what causes that signature spark. The spring inside is made from stainless steel, which is durable and resistant to rust. And here's a fun fact. The wind guard, which is the little metal part that protects the flame, is made of aluminum, which is lightweight and resistant to heat. The assembly process itself is a mix of both automated machines and human workers. While the machines handle some of the repetitive tasks, like inserting the flint or placing the spring, humans are still very much involved in making sure everything is just right. Now, let's talk about the gas that makes the flame. Bic uses butane gas, a highly flammable substance that burns clean and is easy to store under pressure. 
The butane comes in large tanks and is delivered by specialized suppliers to big factories. The gas is carefully metered into each lighter, ensuring that it's filled just the right amount. Why butane? Because it burns at a consistent temperature and produces a stable, reliable flame. Did you know that you can expect around 3,000 to 4,000 lights before the fuel runs out? The gas is stored in the lighter under high pressure and is released through a valve when you press the button. This is why the flame is so reliable and why you always get that consistent burn every time you use it. Before we wrap up, let's talk about something important, safety. BIC lighters are designed with child safety mechanisms to ensure that kids can't just pick one up and light it. The red button you see on the lighter is part of this mechanism. It's designed to require a certain amount of force to operate, enough to make it hard for small hands to get it to work. Every BIC lighter also goes through rigorous quality control testing. They're tested for flame resistance, leakage, and drop resistance. BIC uses machines that simulate real-world conditions, including dropping the lighter from various heights and testing the flame under different temperatures. If a batch of lighters doesn't meet their high standards, it gets scrapped and isn't sold. BIC is all about quality, and every single lighter that leaves the factory has passed strict inspections. Once the lighters pass quality control, they're ready for packaging. The lighters are packed into large boxes, typically 50 lighters per box, and are shipped to retailers all across the world. The entire process is quick, efficient, and reliable. And the price? Well, each BIC lighter in the US typically costs around $1 to $1.50 per unit. So it's not just a practical tool, it's also a great deal. They're shipped to stores in bulk, where you can grab one, two, or maybe even a dozen to keep in your pocket, drawer, or camping kit. All right, folks, now you know all about the BIC lighter, from the raw materials to the finished product. It's an amazing process that combines human craftsmanship and cutting-edge automation to make sure you always have a reliable lighter at your fingertips. And the next time you find yourself lighting up a candle or a bonfire, you'll know exactly how much work goes into it. And why is it that no matter how many lighters you buy, they always seem to disappear? Maybe your friends are borrowing them, or maybe your lighter is just wandering off on its own adventure. If this video was too hot for you, be sure to check out our next video where we dive into the spicy world of how Takis are made. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for tuning in to Industria, the channel where we dig deep into the things you never even thought about. See you in the next one. Stay lit and stay curious.